G'day viewers, Dave Monaghan, Arctic Film Productions. What I want to talk to you about is sea level rise. It's a beautiful planet, we should be protecting it, but I'm not sure that's what we're doing at the moment. Now, sea level rise has been caused by global warming, which is our reliance on fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, oil, gas and coal. Now, generally accepted, there's a lot of been a lot of studies done, we're expecting to see a sea level rise by the year 2050, so about 30 years from now, about 8 inches. A more recent US federal agency study has that figure at about 12 inches, which is 30 centimetres by the year 2050. And they're also predicting between 2050 and 2100, you can expect a sea level rise of around 2 feet, 60 centimetres. That's getting a bit scary. Now, that's based on current CO2 levels in the atmosphere staying static, which they're not going to, because we're still reliant so heavily on fossil fuels. So in reality, by the year 2100, which is you know 80 years from now, sea, level, sea levels are gonna be 1.5 metres higher than what they currently are, based on our current use of fossil fuel, fossil fuel as a primary energy resource. Now, when you heat the atmosphere, you heat the ocean. So if you heat the ocean, you get what's called thermal expansion. Salt water expands when you heat it. So what happens in the big cities that are, that are close, close to the, um, the ocean is that they're gonna get flooded, basically, because our reliance on oil, coal, and gas. Now, that's gonna be of particular interest to a lot of these countries across the equator here where the oceans are warmer than what they are in the north and what they are in the south. So their increase in sea level is gonna be higher than what it is in the, in the top end of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, all comes back to our heavy reliance on fossil fuels. Now, 2019, our reliance on fossil fuels was sitting about 84%. Back in uh, 1996, it was about 94%. So in that 15 years, we've decreased our reliance on fossil fuels, but seriously not quick enough and the thing you got to remember that's a percentage of our total use in reality it's actually gone up because our population has increased so as our population has increased we've accessed more fossil fuels so there's more power stations and there's more oil refineries and there's more gas uh, uh, more gas extraction than what there was 20 years ago so in reality when you look at the figures we've actually increased our use of fossil fuels um, so these big monsters, uh, they're, just being, they're just being opened up and there's more and more on their way. Um, now, the particular danger here is that when you heat the atmosphere and you heat up the ocean, uh, temperatures, um, you end up with the coastal flooding. So towns end up getting flooded uh, that weren't previously flooded. And you also, you're increasing the air temperature. So you get these flash fires, fires going through. Um, in the US recently, and it's also in Australia, there's been some massive bushfires going through, the worst they've ever seen. And uh, recently, earlier this year, 2022, a lot of fires going right through Europe, and they hadn't seen bush guys, bushfires going through those regions in that, um, in that sort of degree previously. We don't want this as the norm that we're handing over to our future generations, saying, oh, here you go, we've been burning fossil fuels for so long that we've actually cooked the whole planet. Because we're gonna hand our, our kids and our grandkids a legacy that's gonna take them decades to fix. And you don't want them coming home to this as the normal way of life, where um, your, your towns are getting flooded. Towns but you know, traditionally are by the sea. So as the sea level increases, you're gonna get water in the streets. I mean, it, it's, it's really not acceptable. It's already happening. Um, Areas in, uh, in, in Florida are certainly going to be flooded, uh, Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, they're going to have massive problems over there with inland flooding as the ocean temperatures uh, increase, uh, the sea level increases. We've already got the answers. Solar is a renewable. Uh, um, a solar power station, uh, it doesn't have any, once it's built, there's no, there's no emissions there. Um, clean energy, and then you've got wind power, it's another clean power source. We really have to be pushing our industry and pushing our government into getting away from the constant use of fossil fuels. This is our future, not coal and gas and oil. We should be pushing more into solar farms and wind farms. Uh, there's no reason why 
it can't happen. We already have the technology. I think the problem is, is that accessing fossil fuels is easy because they've been doing it for the last hundred years. So it's easy to continue doing the same thing than to look uh, heavily into a new source of power. But it's the way we need to go. Otherwise, we're going to end up with um, a horrible place to live. This should be our future, uh, not what we're doing now. And uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in Greenland later this year, and I'll, I'll be reporting back from there. These are our cities. We all live in cities. 50% of the population lives in cities. We've got a plan for the future. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Thank you.